In our previous lessons, we look at how to include images using the absolute URL, which is practically including images from an external website. But in this lesson, we'll be looking at the same thing, focusing on, on Splash, which is an online resource for getting images that are free to use on your website. So, Let's first get to our browser and let us see the Unsplash site. So we go to Unsplash. So as you can see here, see beautiful free images and photos that can download and use in your project better than any uh, relatively free or stock photos. So. Here we are in Unsplash, and we can see a lot of nice photos that we can use for free. Now, here we are seeing how to add an image using relative parts, then here using absolute parts. So, we want to add an image using the Unsplash auto-generate images. So, I'll take this out and also this. So, with the Unsplash auto-generate images, you can be able to tell the Unsplash, like here you see, this is HTTPS forward slash then source dot on splash dot com then here we tell the on splash source the type size of image we want say we want size of image to be 1080 by 1080 pixels and the type of image we want is background image you can specify the kind of image you want maybe let's say we want the image to always be red so let's save this and open in our browser. Yeah. So as you can see, it gives us an image that is 108 by 1080. And you can see the image has some red colors on it. So if we refresh this page, it gives us another image. So as you can see, the image is giving us is red in color so we can use this to, to specify different images in our web page So we just specified another image from the Unsplash website that is 500 by 500 and it should look like a background. So we we'll save this and open in our browser. So when we scroll down, we are seeing the image that looks like a background. Let's first take this out so we we'll see perfectly these new image sets. So you see, by the time I refresh, I'm getting new images. But notice that they are always of the size 500 by 500. And they are images you can use as a background. They are images you can use as a background. So the more I refresh, I get different images. So this is how you link images from other sites. And I've also given us a plus here. That means we can always link images that we want to change randomly. It's random changing images from the Unsplash um, database resources.